Oh, Ukraine, Ukraine, what are you doing? What's up, you fools? Matt, ES United, your favorite Eurovision channel. We have to talk about it, Ukraine. So, Maruv won the Ukrainian national final with beer 2019 with her siren song. So, she is going to represent the country at the Eurovision Song Contest 2019 in Tel Aviv, Russia. Or is she? We don't even know yet. Let's dissect this whole situation because it's pretty messy and political. So as pointed out, she won. She won the televote and finished second in the jury vote. That was enough to win overall. So congratulations to her. So you would think she's all set and ready, proudly represent Ukraine. But apparently that's still a question. So let's talk about this national final Vitby, which felt less than a national final, but more of a citizenship purity test to me. It was insane. I would think it controversial does not really describe it. It seems as the acts, multiple of them, were interrog interrogated with like a flashlight in their face, put there on the spot. Super awkward by the judges and by the host, actually. For instance, Yuko, uh, the lead singer, she said that she would give up her Russian passport as soon as she would have a Ukrainian one appealing, pleasing the judges and potentially the broadcaster UAPBC. Now, if you think that was weird, no, 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 there's more. So Maruf, who ultimately won, was asked by Jamala, who won the contest in 2016 for Ukraine, and she was also one of the judges, she said the following. Hi, Anya. Hi, Maru. Welcome to Tel Aviv. So, I have a very uncomfortable question to you. Crimea is Ukraine? Ukraine, of course. Okay. Okay. And that's not all. So, I think when it got really emotional, in my opinion, highly inappropriate when it was the twins turn Anna Maria who over the past few weeks actually received a lot of backlash and criticism in regards to their association with Russia both twins hail from Crimea the area that was annexed by Russia in 2014 I'm sure everyone is aware of that but I had to kind of repeat that just to give context so they really actually got emotional and got teary-eyed um, after they were asked by the host about their mother. And the mother actually works in the Russian-controlled civil office as an administrative worker, right? So they asked the twins, do you agree with your mother? Do you hold the same position as she does? So not only you have to explain or justify your own situation, you have to address family matters like now, there is more, of course, um, in regards to Maruv, the issue it's going on because she has performed in Russia recently, as well as has many scheduled concerts in the upcoming month in Russia. So that apparently is now against the rules. And it was really, really odd right before um, the results were announced. So the host, um, his name is Serhi Pritula. He was giving a note right before the results were announced, given by the broadcaster UAPBC, and that they may reject the actual winner. Maruf, it is their right. In case you don't know, the actual show was mostly um, actually organized by a commercial broadcaster. The name is STB. And they also covered most of the costs that were associated with the show. Of course, when that announcement was made, a lot of people were like, er, what the what? You knew something was going on there, that they had to make such an announcement, which has never been done before. You know something was going to hit the fan. So Maruf, even though she won the national final, is still not officially the representative of Ukraine. After she has won, she was given a contract that she has to sign. And she only was giving a little bit of time. So early next week, we're going to get an answer. Or this week, I should say. 
she basically then has to cancel all of her concerts and all events that she has scheduled in Russia. It's not like she's working for anyone there in particular. She really just give, makes music, right? And if she doesn't do so, the broadcaster will probably not allow her to actually go to Tel Aviv. Even the president, I think, they tweeted about this, sharing their displeasure with the winner due to you know, Maru's association with Russia. So it became so political awkward. And now, as pointed out, she has to sign this contract, right, that she would have to cancel all of her appearances and concerts in Russia. Not only is she going to lose a lot of money, I mean, her label may drop her. Think about that. That is a very big thing to ask for from an artist. Now, I do understand that there, the political situation in Russia and Ukraine, but there comes a time when things go a little bit too far. Now, the EBU, I understand, will not get involved and probably shouldn't get involved. This is not about the actual Eurovision Song Contest. It's about an internal national final. The broadcasters can do whatever they want and please. So this is not an EBU-related issue. It's still messed up, though. And don't get me wrong, I was very much Team Ukraine in 2017 when this whole Yulia Samoyova cannot enter the country situation happened, right? But in this one, I am Team Maruv because this is just not cool. What kind of damage is she going to do right here, right now by performing in Russia? I mean, seriously, seriously, I feel really bad for Maruv, puts her in a difficult and awkward position. She wants to go to Eurovision, represent her country, make, bring, hopefully, uh, bring home a good result, and then move on. Or she just drops that insanely good opportunity and just continues her work as she does giving concerts in Russia. I don't blame her if she decides, you know what, these stipulations are stupid, I'm dropping out. It would suck. The fans would go crazy. I would be would be super upset. And don't get me wrong, it's not because of the song. Those who watched all of my other reaction videos, they are aware that Freedom Jazz was my personal winner. And if Maru withdraws, Freedom Jazz would go. So it would be an ideal situation for me. But that's not what this is about. This is about fairness and just what's right. I hope, I hope Maruf will go to Eurovision. I hope all the fans will speak out about it. If she does, she drops all of her other responsibilities that she currently has. She deserves um, the Eurovision tiara and she should be treated as a queen because that is dedication. Whatever Maruf decides, I will support her because she is being put in a very difficult and, in my opinion, unfair situation. For crying out loud, she's giving concerts. She's not working as a spy or anything. As a musician, you, you have international um, exposure. There are Americans performing in Russia or in countries that we would consider aggressors, right? That doesn't mean that they cannot express their artistic freedom in countries that you are not in fr have friendly relationships with. And yes, I get it, I get it, I get it. It's a very different situation, but come on. In 2017, it was all about we can't let someone into the country who entered Crimea illegally, right? At least according to Ukrainian law, and that makes perfect sense to me. But this is a little ridiculous. She's not really breaking any laws. She just doesn't do what the broadcaster wants her to do. So political, so not in the spirit of Eurovision. I hope, Maruf, you'll go to Eurovision, stay strong. Us fans need to speak up together as a unity, regardless on how you feel about the song. Because everything else doesn't matter. These are difficult times in Ukraine. Totally get it. I'm no dummy. But this just not this is just not cool, right? So we'll find out in the next day or two, three maybe, about Maruv and my fingers and toes are crossed that the broadcaster and everyone else will understand that this 
it's really not important that she performs in Russia. Come on. So these are my thoughts. Uh, do you agree? Am I getting uh, too upset about this? I don't think I do, but leave your thoughts below in the comment section. We'll keep you updated on the situation. Have a good day, though, in the meantime. Goodbye.